It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got a duel in the Lone Star State. It's the Houston Texans and the Dallas Cowboys, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. DA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are underway here in Arlington. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. Leading them out, a two-year starter at Ohio State, and second overall pick in the draft, C.J. Stroud. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Opening play and Stroud will throw it. And that will to the right side and incomplete. No receivers open downfield, so instead of forcing the ball to the sideline, he's going to throw this one down to Fort Worth. He'd rather have the incompletion than the turnover. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing now is Stroud. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. On the bootleg, Stroud. They'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 11 more on that one, and another first down. The throwing again is Stroud. Throw left side complete. That's Schultz. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. On the ground, this is Joe Mixon. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. Play action. Here's Stroud. And his throw is going to be incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Open man is Noah Brown. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 27-yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. I'll give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. man in stride complete a minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive and a good sign for them right now to have their young quarterback looking confident on the opening drive now we haven't met a young quarterback a veteran quarterback. it doesn't matter we haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't tell us he's confident about his abilities right that's true but when you're young it's really important to get off to a good start because it does build up that confidence and allows him to play better as the game goes on especially crucial here on the road and they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 23 yards, the final tally. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Stroud will look to throw once more. Touchdown, Texans! Damian Pierce from three yards out and the Texans are on the board first here this afternoon right off the bat they start with a very solid methodical 10 play drive and you know me I tend to look at things from the defensive side they're coming off the field gassed right away we're in the first drive of the game so it's not just what happened but think of the emotion you carry into a game then double it with getting a 10 play drive put on you and points scored they're pretty tired right now Fairbairn good with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And Damian Pierce capped things off with a touchdown grab. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. First look at the Cowboys offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. And how about the tough Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The play-action fake, they'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. A second down throw for Prescott. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. They run here with Rico Dowdle. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That good for 22 and a first down. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set. 
fifth defensive back on the field. And they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Throwing, Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Play action now, Prescott. Open man to tight end, Luke Schoonmaker. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A nice gain of 21 yards. So they gave up the early touchdown. This has been a pretty good response. Nice drive, taking it down first and goal. And I know all the cliches jump in, right? Don't get away from your game plan too early. Make sure you're settled down. Don't panic. But it's all true, isn't it? Because otherwise, you get out of what you plan to do during the game, and it's still early. Don't get crazy because you gave one up. Just respond as you just noted. On the run, it's Dowdle. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. They run again with Dowdle. And they'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Rico Dowdle, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is, we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Aubrey good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. 
And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold him to no gain. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Third and one, Stroud able to find the open man. That's complete, and he is going to have a Texans first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. On first down, here's Stroud. Just a gain of a couple there, and that'll bring up second down. Now Stroud. And that is incomplete. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They saw the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Here goes Stroud again. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 36. A nice pickup of 23 on the third down conversion. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. But those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. Stroud sets up the play action. That's caught again by Schultz. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Big gains in succession. Last one was over 20. This one over 30. Now we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go Band of Brothers' thought process. No one left behind. No pointing fingers. No accusations. Because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. And Stroud now to throw. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Damone Clark fought his way through and buried him behind the line. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Stroud now on second down. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Every time I see a hitch pattern dropped, I go back to the combine because there's a drill that they use all the time. It's called the gauntlet drill, where a receiver catches the ball and just works his way straight down the line and catches it from different sides. And the problem with that drill is that you don't actually have to secure the catch. You just kind of catch it, drop it immediately, and keep moving. And sometimes that shows up on plays like this. And how about the coverage here in the end zone? That's how you frustrate a quarterback. You get pressure on him, and you take away all of his receivers, and he's got to throw it away on third and goal. So on fourth down, Texan kicker Kaimi Fairbairn comes on. This from 25 yards out. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field.
Fairbairn now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a bead on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that will bring up second down. Now they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Prescott now on second down. And this one quickly to land. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Lamb's first catch of the game. Good for a first down. They run here with Dowdle. To the 43, second down. The time called here because a member of the Texans is in some discomfort. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. From the 43, here's a second and seven. A running play, it's Dowdle. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. Here's Prescott. And he is caught. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 42 yard line. Now a first carry for their fullback. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Now Prescott. Pass complete to Jalen Toby. He's got room at the 30. And he takes it all the way down to the 22. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. First down throw for Prescott. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Oh, yeah. 
They'll try and run this one right up the gun. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. scrimmage no gain on the play that time and it sets up second and goal Brandon you're a big lover of music how about what you just saw there this is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman the ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage how about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play they'll try to throw now Prescott and this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown Devontae Turpin, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. All drives that result in points hurt a defense, but when they are the sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing. Aubrey now for the PAT. And that makes it 14-10. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Out comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Stroud to the air on first and ten. To mix it on the check down. Only able to gain a couple there. And it'll be second down. Inside handoff to Mixon. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this, I'll take it, I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, 
everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. From the 41, here's second and five. Now to change things up, Stroud will throw it. And he finds his target, it's Schultz. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 43. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. And down to the 36-yard line here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Here's second and three. A shotgun snap to Stroud. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Throwing now is Stroud. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they deliver there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. They'll give it to Mixon. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. So that run gets them about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. And that was a good collision right there. And I know this as a former defender. If you're playing linebacker, you're going through a checklist on every play on who you think's going to get the ball and where you think the ball's going to go. Rarely do you expect the fullback position to get it. <laughs> and on that play, you do. So you've got to steal yourself at that point because the contact is going to be strong. He lost two, and it brings up four. Such a long drive here. Three points. That would be a disappointment, but I don't know if you can go for it here, can you? Well, you know, the defense was really giving them a lot all the way downfield, and now they've stiffened. Forget that bend don't break. Now they don't even want to let them get a yard, do they? So in this spot, you remember what the coaches told us before the ball game? Any drive that ends with a kick is going to be okay with us, whether it's a punt, a field goal, or an extra point. Take the field goal right here. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Fairbairn now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Now Dak Prescott of the offense heading back onto the field. The last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six of six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate, the receivers catch it, the ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, ball never hits the ground there either. He's got a full head of steam. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Cowboys! 
Cowboys. Two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. How uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Aubrey now for the point after. And with that, the lead is up to eight. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Texans offense set to regain possession. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them... That's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Now they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. Throw over the middle is taken in by Dell. And he's gonna get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Nothing flashy there, the slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play, and you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch, and then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. On second down, here's Mixon. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Back to Mixon on first down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. And they'll come up second and seven. Play action, Stroud now. Taking a shot for Dell here. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not win. And this was a little bit of the knock on him coming out of college. Sometimes the concentration could wander a bit. This should have been a big play, but somehow he's not able to corral it. Going for it with Pierce. And they're able to stop him short. On third and six, they'll only pick up four. Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. Cavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. 
A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Here's a second and eight. Prescott now. Fires a slam complete to Toby. And getting this just shy of midfield is spotted at the 49. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. First down, Prescott. His throw incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catch in the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Second and 10. And again, it's Prescott. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. Five yards, now it's third and five. Here's Prescott. And to find the open man. That's complete. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Scott looks to throw on first. And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And we all know how talented this guy is. He's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And the lead now 11, 24-13. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to the rescue because you know... After the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Final play of the half, Stroud. Catch is made, it's Schultz on the out route. 
And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. So we have reached halftime here in an 11 point contest. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a veteran quarterback, Dak Prescott, who had it working in the first half. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And able to get this out to the 25. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Left side to Lamb. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Now Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and ten, Prescott, and that's complete to Colts. Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Second and six. Prescott to throw it throw here's incomplete I would describe the way that he's played today as mature he's already moved on mentally from that incompletion and he's more than ready to throw his next pass downfield so after the second down incompletion they'll come up now against a third and six looking to throw Prescott Complete. Well, it's too early to figure out what kind of adjustments this defense made at halftime, but that's a good start to the second half. They cannot afford to give up more points and fall further behind, so well done to force the punting situation here. Here's Brian Anger now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Texans offense now, Redding for their first possession of the second half. 
And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. First and 10, it's Stroud. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Schultz. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Stroud. That's caught a Schultz. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Stroud out of the gun here. This one left side caught by Collins. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. Well, so far, a little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to them, and it's paying off. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and ten at the 47. Stroud's throw taken in by Collins. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Here's Stroud. That is caught by Dell. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Here goes Stroud again. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring him second down. Ah, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Now a second and ten. From the gun to give to Mixon. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, not much in the running game, and this won't help things either. A loss on that play. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Stroud working out of the gun. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. C.J. Stroud, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Tech are back within a score. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with him. You don't want him getting happy feet, but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls and takes it into the end zone. But D'Amico Ryans, even with the defensive mindset, he'll elect to go for two here. Stroud's going to try to throw for the conversion. Pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is.
So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. It's caught left side by Cooks. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Now that was well defended, and as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in, and he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Second and seven. Prescott. And his throw is incomplete. I think the defenders have to feel pretty good, even though the ball was tipped in the air and could have become a big play for the offense. They actually won one because the guy flinging it today, he's having quite the performance. A couple of touchdown passes, almost threw his first interception, but he's throwing it so well that I think Lady Luck was on his side. On third down, it's Prescott. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and the Texans scoop it. And they'll start out with great field position, at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half, and that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security, and none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. And here comes the Texans now. They'll try to get the run game going. This is Mixon, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and eight. A shotgun snap to Stroud. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Schultz. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. On defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. When the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Now they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and ten. To the sideline and incomplete. Noah Brown, the Ohio State man, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. Mixing up the middle. And he stopped immediately there. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. 
Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Here's third and ten. And Stroud now to throw. To Pierce, they set up the screen. And I don't think he got there, no. Gee, short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. Fourth down, here's Stroud. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 18. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. Know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. That was finishing the play. Third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield in coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. Here's Brian Anger now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Yeah. 47 yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. And now out comes Houston. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so. But maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. Marquise Bell in on that stop. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. On second down, it's Stroud. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like.
So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll get this to his running back, Dowdle. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Back now in... It's the Cowboys with a the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. Here's Prescott. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion and you count on your D to make it stand up. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Texans will take over. Houston set to take over. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. They'll start here with a give to Mixon. And they'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. They work now on second and nine. Stroud to throw it. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. The Texans on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This time, it's third and three. Stroud. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. He'll get this to about the 38. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want, and other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. Now Prescott. Taken down, but not before it gets into enemy territory. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gets him the first down. Now they 
to try the right side here. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. He'll get about four here. Down to the 43-yard line. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 19. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. From the red zone now, Prescott. This is caught. And the Cowboys are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the run. And these guys said they're not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Dowdle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Got to give a lot of credit to the defensive front there. They held their ground. Pretty much stoned him on that play and ended up creating a lost yardage play. Yeah, drop him from the one back to the two. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. They'll try again. And he will again go backwards as they drive him back to the four-yard line. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one-yard line. They knocked him back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available. And they stuffed the play right there in the middle of the field. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to put him a touchdown and a two-point conversion up. And his kick is indeed good, and that'll push the lead up to eight. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. But Houston's offense taking over again. And remember, despite giving up the field goal, this is still a one-score game. They're in need of the touchdown and a two-point conversion. A field goal on this drive likely doesn't do them much good. The drive will commence with a run by Mixon. And now he got away from that first tackler. No idea, but he did, and it winds up with positive yardage. 
That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Here's second and seven. Now Stroud. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Nico Collins, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. Stroud looking to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's a much needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. And they run the option here on first and ten. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. They get the guard out of Georgia Tech, Shaq Mason. Stroud out of the gun here. Another one caught by Collins. That'll give them eight that time, and it's second down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Stroud will look to throw once more. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a first throw to do your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. The Texans on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and 11. Throwing now is Stroud. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 40. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 right at the 40. Stroud. Went incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so he just put that in a spot where the only people to make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Here goes Stroud again. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 24-yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there, freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. This second and four. Here's a give to Mixon. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. 46 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, he can go for a touchdown. But the runs that really make it work are the ones where you just get what you need, right? And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Again, it's Mixon. And power running here down to the six-yard line.
Here's second down and three. A handoff to Mixon. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Stroud. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown. Take down. A five-yard touchdown. And the Texans have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. The touchdown is huge, but the focus now is on the two-point play. I don't want to say they have a cushion here, but if they don't get it, they still have a chance for onside kick. Yeah, they would need some big-time help, but you're right. There would be a shot, but the focus right now on that two-point conversion. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Now Stroud, and it's caught, and with it, we are tied here in the fourth. Huge, huge conversion there to tie this thing up, but they're not done yet. Their defense needs to get a stop. Yeah, there's still plenty of time for the other team to come downfield and put some points on the board, but job one was taken care of, the two-point conversion to get this thing tied. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked his special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put on one of those blood pressure clips, and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. Here comes second down and five. Here's Prescott. Oh, who want that one back? Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw's made. Where's the catch? Got a catch in that spot. Here's Dak. And he's caught. And out across midfield, down to the 45. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to him in open space and let them do what they do. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and 10 now. to throw Prescott and it's incomplete boy he doesn't drop many like that one second down just over 30 seconds remain here's second and 10 now now Dak. 
A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And to the 36-yard line taken down there after getting eight yards. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. A big play here, third and two. On the run, it's doubted. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. And now they're going to get the timeout. A huge play has them in field goal range with a chance to win. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So on is their kicker, and it's down to this. Two for two on the afternoon, and a third would win it. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they tried to ice him there, but it's fair to say it did not have the intended effect. And I've known kickers that take it as an affront. And there he says, you think you're going to rattle me? Think again. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. Well, this one partner was fun down at the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won. <laughs> and fun for us because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur in the end, but what a game all the way through. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.